Hello guys, Alexei is here. You were asking me from time to time how I create these nice looking animations. And today the time has come to reveal all the secrets. I create these animations with a tool called Rotato. And now I'm gonna show you how to use this tool. So to download uh, Rotato, go to the website rotato.app. The app is available for Mac users only. At least they say that uh, for now they focused on Mac users, but maybe soon they will uh, add the Windows version as well. Uh, you can also use the free version, but it will have the small label next to the device, which is saying Rotato. And uh, you download, install the app, and this is how it looks inside. Click making a mockup, and you see something like this. You can uh, change the background color, you can change the device color if you want. There are a lot of options, even a clay mockup. And of course, you have several presets to use. They are pretty nice, all of them. Let's remove the default one and choose one of the presets, this one. looks amazing isn't it so the only thing uh, that is left is to put your design inside this template so i created this design in figma let's just export it in 3x downloads folder and you simply drag and drop the file that you just exported and it nicely goes inside the device. What's also nice about Rotato is that you can add not only the static designs, but also the videos and you can create a Figma clickable prototype, record this uh, prototype as video and put inside the Rotato mockup and it will play as the real life app inside this mockup really nice now uh, what is left is just to export this thing um, as a video so you have a couple of options to choose from the frame rate compression file type let's select an mp4 and export this to my downloads folder Let's take a look at the result. Oh, so good, so good. So this is how to use Rotato. Very simple, right? You can also export this not as a video, but as a standalone image. If you want to create nice uh, screenshots for your portfolio, for example, here is the button image. And now if you take a look, it's a really nice image that you put on your website, on Dribbble, Behance, anywhere. Hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe for more tutorials in the future and see you in the next one.